So I'm let's now, hang on and make sure okay. our driver's ready. I'm trying. I'm My computer is just spinning. It is not doing anything right now. So if, I apologize. Um, if board member Belknap has it, you could move forward. As soon as my browser stops spinning, I will also show the summary. Okay. okay. It's The first one's a fairly easy one, Chair, if you want me to repeat it. Track that. Okay. So um, from finance on December 4th. It's 10.5. It's the professional outreach programs in the schools or the POPs carry forward recommendation. The motion for the board is that the committee moves that the board approve the use of the POPs carry forward funds. One more time. The committee moves that the board approve the use of the POPs carry forward funds. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to. Here we go. And so that. Motion before the board is that the board approve the use of POPs carry forward funds as recommended. That was, wasn't that the motion? Yes, Chair. Okay, as it was specified. That's Jeff N. Holton and Lorraine Austin. Okay, what was that, Angie? Okay, well, we'll, we'll I'll restate the motion that came from committee. That, the motion from committee was that the board approve the use of POPs carry forward funds as recommended. Any discussion to the motion? Seeing none, please vote. Board member Lear, I, I will probably get a voice from you. Uh, yes, I vote aye. Okay, thank you. There's my... Um, board yeah. member, or Vice Chair Davis, I'm not seeing your vote. Hey, it's, now it's holding. Nope, there it goes. Vice Chair Davis, are you with us? Oh, there we go. Voting is complete and the motion passes unanimously. Please continue. Thank you. Clear your marks, please. All right. Um, on 10.6, R277752 Special Education Intensive Services funds amendment. The motion before the board is that the committee moves that the board approve R277752 special education intensive services fund draft one on second and final reading. Okay, the motion before the board is that the board approve R277-752 special education intensive services fund draft one on second and final reading discussion to the motion. I'm looking for hands. Um, Vice Chair Davis. This doesn't change anything necessarily and I, I'm going to vote for this, but there is one um, alternate formula that I thought changed the federal formula and the state formula distribution and I thought that um, our special ed specialist had said that could be problematic down the road. So I'm just saying it may have to come back for a conversation at some other point, but but I s support the motion today. Okay. I'm not seeing any other hands raised. So the motion before the board is that the board approve R277-752 Special Education Intensive Services Fund Draft 1 on second and final reading. Oh, we do have a hand. Board Member Cannon. I'm sorry, I was trying to vote ahead of time. Oh, okay. Then I'll state the motion again. I'm sorry. The motion before the board is the board approve R277-752 Special Education Intensive Services Fund Draft 1 on second and final reading. Board members, please vote. Aye, Chair. Thank, thank you, Board Member Lear. Um, I'm not seeing board member Earl or member Klein. Okay, the voting is complete and the motion passes unanimously. Please continue. Thank you, Chair. Actually, point of order. Yes. Um, I just wanted to say when you first called me to be on finance, I was very disappointed and I have learned to really love that committee and I will really miss it. 
I've learned to appreciate Scott Jones and all his hard work, but also all of those people who work with him who support that committee. So thank you. So is that, you're, you're forgiving me? Yep, that's it. That's all of it. All right, well, that's important. It is, well, I appreciate your service there. And there's always more work to do. Um, 